The day I graduated college in 2005, I decided to start a rental company. It took a few years until it became successful enough to be my full-time job, but now it's all I do. My hope is to help you by sharing my knowledge. So the other day I made a video about if you don't have storage space and can't find affordable warehouse space, perhaps having a trailer as your storage where you keep everything and as delivery might be a good idea for you. Like if you live in an apartment and you don't have a garage with that apartment and you don't have storage, then possibly having a trailer for your storage in one of your parking spots would be a good idea. And I gave an example of a guy that I know that does that. His, his garage at his house is not very large. So he just has everything on his trailer for all his little tents. And then his big wedding tent, he has another trailer where everything is just always on it. So I made that video and I was gonna intend to follow it up with some other ideas. And then some people messaged me about how they do things and they were kind of the same thing. So that's what this video is. So uh, I have lots of real world examples. Every time I try to make a video, about something I, I remember oh I know a guy who did that because uh, I've met so many rental company owners and things anyways there was this guy in Cooperstown who was operating out of a house it was kind of strange I showed up there one day to say hi to him my first time meeting him walked in the house and no one was there so I kind of walked around trying to find him and he's just got rooms dining room living room bedroom full of stuff and he's got like ramps to go up like three stairs out to his back porch and then the back porch is like the loading dock it was really strange. But anyways, besides inside the house, outside he had like six of those uh, shipping containers. You know, the ones that are on the big, uh, you know, ships. They're usually 20 to 40 feet long. Actually, I am passing by one right now. I don't know if you'll see it out the window. But anyways, uh, there it is. So uh, he had like six of those. He was actually renting them, um, but you can buy them. There's a person around me selling a 40 foot shipping container. They sell them all day, every day uh, for $2,000. So you can just have that dropped off. This only works if you have property. If you own a house with a yard, you can purchase or rent one of these shipping containers and use that as your storage. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than paying for rent. And then if you ever need to, you can sell it. If you buy it, if you rent it, then they'll just take it back. But uh, it solves fairly inexpensively your storage problem uh, like I said this only works if you have property or someone in your family has property that you can use uh, then another guy one of the largest tent companies in New Jersey he's called intense events he has like a elephant as on all his trucks as his like mascot anyways he told me that he started in a storage locker uh, just a 10 by 20 storage locker. And as he grew, he rented the one next to it and kept going. I think he got up to four or five storage lockers before he was making enough money to then be able to afford rent. Uh, and then he moved into a warehouse and then eventually to a very, very massive warehouse. But he started in a storage locker for, sometimes they're 50 bucks a month, other times they can be up to like 150. All just depends on your market. Uh, my friend who owns a bounce house company did this his garage was getting filled his wife didn't like it So down the street he got two storage lockers for all of his bounce houses And then every day he needed to do, do a delivery. He would just go pick it up from the storage locker And then he moved on to buying a shed. Uh, he didn't do a um, Shipping container. He just bought like a 10 by 20 one of those pre-made sheds that they drop off. So then he he just bought that and that was his warehouse, his storage space, a shed on the property. It's kind of the same thing as buying a shipping container. Um, but he obviously probably wanted to resell his house someday and it looks kind of bad having a shipping container in your house. So he bought a nice shed. So those are some more ideas along with keeping all your stuff in a trailer and just parking it at your apartment or house or paying for a parking spot either at a storage locker place or another commercial business that will let you. Getting a shipping container put on your property or someone else's property. Getting a shed on your property or someone else's property. Uh, starting off in storage lockers. Uh, people, it seems weird, but like a lot of people do it. So, so don't be weirded out by it. Just don't get frustrated by you wanna start this business but you can't figure out the storage. There's a lot of things you can do. Just, I say just jump into it. Start by not having a dining room and just keeping your stuff in there. 
Uh, then as you outgrow that, then get creative and try to solve that problem to get bigger. I understand, you know, in larger metro areas, warehouse space is expensive, really expensive, three to six dollars a square foot. So you gotta be creative, you know, just don't have a dining room or get a trailer or rent a garage somewhere. All over Craigslist, there's places where people are just trying to rent out their garage. Like maybe they own a duplex and they've got each uh, unit uh, rented out, but they also have a garage there and they either rent it out to someone there or they try to rent it out to someone else so that they have another source of income coming in. So like I said, don't get frustrated. Just start this business and just solve the problem of storage as you go. It's not an insurmountable task. You can do it. Um, and then as you get larger and your inventory grows and you're bringing in more money every month, then you can afford to rent a warehouse. I lucked out in renting a warehouse. I started in my mother's garage, then my garage when I bought a house. And then I outgrew that and I found someone who had a really shady building. Um, I had to go in and build a wall, clean it up, put some lights in, and I got it for 10 cents a square foot. So 3,000 square feet for 10 cents a square foot. Unheard of, crazy. I do not know if I would be where I am today if I had to go right out and start paying three to six dollars a square foot for warehouse space. So I looked out and then I outgrew that and by then I had so much inventory and so much money coming in and saved so much money that I just ended up buying a 7,000 square foot warehouse. But I'm kind of outgrowing that. So I put a semi trailer, I bought a 20 foot, seven, 20 foot semi trailer and putting it up, put it up to one of my loading docks and that is like an extra room that holds all my Shivari chairs and other things. And I have two more loading docks that don't get used. I'm gonna put some more storage trailers there and put things like Shivari chairs, things that don't go out every weekend in there to free up some space in my warehouse. So that's another idea. Uh, semi trailers, you can get those. Same, same concept as buying a shipping container, but the only problem with the semi trailer is that it's loading dock height. But if you got a box truck and that's how you want to operate, then that's perfect. You're already loading dock height. Um, so yeah, like I said, don't get frustrated. Just start this business. Uh, you'll figure out uh, ways to storage, store it. You'll find things. You'll put the feelers out. You'll tell people that you're looking for storage space and you'll find it. Uh, just, just don't get frustrated. Don't not start this business because you don't have storage figured out yet. Just figure it out as you go. Thanks for watching.